it's a uh, it's a tricky thing because I don't. Uh, what do you do? How do you find work? How do you generate work? I still don't know the answer to that question. Yeah. Then I I made the leap and then the gig I left it for fell through <laughs> and then I probably had Josh on speed dial like right. uh, what if I can get <laughs> yeah. my job back? Right. I wonder if he'll take me back. Right. I know I quit, but. So going back to when you moved into being independent, you know, yeah. from Yash, five years, four to five years or however long it was working with him. At what point do you make that transition? How do you make that transition? How, what is that transition like? What there's, was that? there's no easy answer, honestly. Okay. There's no easy answer for that one. Um, like, how did you know you were ready for that? <laughs> didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I... Eh. It's a really, that was a tough gig to leave. Yeah. Yeah, she was an incredible boss, yeah. first of all. Second of all, I got to work on the top gospel albums, like all of them. And those producers and those artists knew me and would call me when they needed stuff. Yeah. Like not to mix, but they'd be yeah, like, yeah. yo, I need this TV track. They don't call Yasha, they call yeah. me. Yeah. Like, cause they knew I was the one who's gonna like make anyway. sure they had it and I know where it is. And otherwise Yasha would have to text me about it. So. Mm. Um, you know, that eh, who wants to give that up, right? It's not the golden handcuff kind of thing, right? Yeah. Like, it's like, this is a great job. Yeah. And also, being an assistant is never the goal. Yeah. I wanted I wanted to sit in the, yeah. in the hot seat, yeah, right? Um, and so, yeah, w how do you know when it's time? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It had been in my mind a little bit, and then I yeah. had an opportunity come up that... I thought would be an okay opportunity yeah. and would also be, it would make it impossible for me to continue in my yeah. current role. Yeah. And so I said, now's the time to jump. Yeah. And that did not go smoothly, but like, I mean, who the Yasha did, <laughs> that was, that was fine. Yash, leaving Yasha was honestly, um, we had, we had an intern, intern, uh, a little bit earlier named Adam, who yeah, is that's what I was about to say, Adam. phenomenal. Like, the the best person possible to step into that role and he did so perfectly and seamlessly and I thought I would be getting all kinds of calls from yeah, Josh like yeah. how do I do this where is this and it was nothing, like flipping the switch. nothing Adam had it Adam had it under control so you wow. know he came in for a, a few months uh, we yeah. like transitioned over yeah, yeah, and yeah. I made sure he was up to speed on everything and all that um, but then I I made the leap and then the gig I left it for fell through <laughs> and then I floundered for a while and thankfully wow. ended up with some really great opportunities and um, really remarkably quickly had a had some really good clients thankfully wow. so yeah. listen I hope you are enjoying this conversation with John Blast uh, I got something really quick that I want to show you though check this out Hey, this is John Blass. You may have seen that I just announced my Gospel Producers Mixing class. My intent here is to let you into my thought process, my insights, how and why I do what I do every day to create the best art that I possibly can for clients that I respect so much. Um, I get to work with some really incredible artists and this is how I think about mixing and music and art and how I get to the finish line with these records. Click the link in my bio or scan the QR code to gain access to this class. Leaving from that for a gig and then mm -hmm. it, that gig falls through mm -hmm. and, but then you said you kind of floundered for what was that yeah. process of floundering like what was well, that you it, know what, finding your way so to speak it's uh it's a tricky thing because i don't uh, what do you do how do you find work how do you generate work i still don't know the answer to that question yeah. um and i also was very um i don't i don't know how to say this exactly but i didn't want to call the people I know in the business because right. those are Yasha's clients. Right, right, right. And I absolutely did not want to step on any toes. And Definitely. I did not want to, and especially because we share a first name. Like, yeah. I was like, I am not signing any emails with my first name. Like, I don't want any confusion about right. who's who. Um, and like some of the people that ended up calling me, I don't know, I don't even know why they called me or how they called me. Um, but uh, ended up working on some really great records that year. But I tried to use my time wisely, yeah. um, you know, setting things up for success later, making sure I had the structure 
yeah. that I needed in terms of file management and in terms of like, how am I going to, you know, should I create a PDF that says, here's how you should send me files? Should I yeah. create a PDF that says, here's what you're getting when we're done? Like, you know, that kind of thing. Just making sure the infrastructure was, was as ready there. as it could be. Yeah. And then just going, man, if I could just get a couple songs. I know, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, but eventually it came and like that, that next year I mixed, um, uh, one of the records, Todd Delaney, Jonathan right. Nelson, yeah. like both of the big records that year. Shirley Caesar was that year. Wow. I had two, two nominated albums in the Grammys that year. Like, I think that was the Grammys 2016. So the following year, but, um, yeah. Um, huh? yeah, that's was, a pretty, that's a, that's a pretty, a, uh, no, if, I know it probably, but I know it when you were going through it, it probably felt longer. Oh than, yeah. Than oh yeah. When it did. In hindsight, I'm no, like, a, wow, was it really that quick? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and also, but, but you know. But in process, it felt like, gosh, this, is this ever going to happen? It would, did, do I need to, you probably had Josh on speed dial, like, right. uh, I wonder if I can get <laughs> yeah, my job back. Right. I wonder if he'll take me back. Right. I know I quit, but will he take me back? It's a, it's tough to be yeah. completely independent. Yeah. Um, but I've been completely independent since, and thankfully, um, just really thankful for some really good clients that keep oh, sending me records, and I'm like, wow, thank you. This is amazing. Listen, I want to take this opportunity to thank you for watching this video. This is an excerpt from a two-hour-plus interview that we did with John Blass as a part of his Art of Mixing Gospel Masterclass. You can get access to the full two-hour interview plus an additional three hours of content on mixing from one of the industry's best mixing engineers. So if you're interested, check Check out the link below or scan the QR code right here. And if you're not interested in those, then check this video out right here.